What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the Ranked Up Ladder with this Sniper Inteleon team. This team was actually sent in by Flippo. Flippo, thank you so much for leaving your team DM me over on my Instagram page. I got it. I took a look at it, and I was like, yo, we got to try this one out. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support that's been going out on the channel. He was saying how this team was actually uh, showcased on Cybertron VGC's YouTube page as well. So we came over here, he sent it to me, he was like, yo, he tried it out, how about you try it out and let me know how you do? So that's exactly what we are going to do. We got Inteleon right here, who is our main guy. He has Focus Energy, Snipe Shot, Air Slash, and Mud Shot. Once you get that Focus Energy up on this thing with the Sniper ability and the Scope Buns combined, he is 100% critting. It is game over, he crits every single time. So that is going to be the gimmick for this play. We got Tokus to go with the Follow Me to kind of distract and set up Focus Energy. Roll from there, it has his normal moveset with Dazzle Gleam, Air Slash, Protect, and then Follow Me, like I said. Holding that Babiri Berry with super luck as well so more crits are going to be rolling out with focus we got chandelure to kind of keep trick room out the way i love the chandelure i love the moveset on the chandelure it kind of just like breaks down trick room's team so if they want to pull out trick room we'll just say nah we'll imprison it and we'll go from there then we got g max machamp right here which was actually another reason why i wanted to use this team i know a lot of people were like yo you gotta try out machamp or show him on the channel and i've been wanting to do him for a while just haven't found a good team with them but this one works awesome he has no guard ability assault vest knockoff stone edge dynamic punch and bullet punch it is also g max so his g max move is like uh something chi i don't even know but it boosts critical rate for the team then we got incineroar and tesserine right here you guys already know what incineroar does has an intimidate and fake out throat chop bibbidi bobbidi party shot you guys already know the deal and then tesserine right here with sweet veil wide lens as his item high jump kick protect power whip and taunt if you guys want to use this team for yourself rent the code is at the bottom of the screen if you do use it let me know in the comment section down below how you guys do with it but without further ado, let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this new Sniper Inteleon. Let's get it, guys. This is the last hidden ability for the starters that we have to show off Inteleon here. We're going up against probably the two other hidden abilities with that Liberio Cinerace and that Grassy Surge Rillaboom. How are we going to play this one? I feel like I just leave this Hogue Kiss and Inteleon and get rolling from there. Like that's just a it's just an easy play. It's just an easy play. So let's go Inteleon. We can go follow me, focus energy, booster crit, and roll out from there. And then eventually, who should I pull in back? He has a uh, Trigger and Pokemon as well, but that's just an Imprisoned Pokemon, just like mine. So I'm not going to bring my Chandelier. He has Cliff Fairy, it's Arcanine for that Intimidate. Um, I'm thinking of going my Incineroar, and then maybe uh, the boy. Maybe the boy Machamp. Bring him in there and roll out after that. Let's get it. Let's get it. Or I could bring Tesserine, but eh, it doesn't really do too, too much here. So let's get it. Let's go, Machamp. Let's roll. Let's roll, baby. Let's go. Okay. You guys want to catch more content from me you guys already know the deal head down link in the description below jeans 25 on twitch we stream four plus days every single week come hang out with me come chat it up if you have any questions i would love to answer them over there just turn on those notifications so you know when i go live but this is this is gonna be a cool battle this one's gonna be a cool battle considering we have hidden ability inteleon hidden ability cinderace and hidden ability real boom all in one but i feel like he's going to be using the real boom alongside with the cinderace to actually uh keep the life orb damage down let's see cinderace and clefairy gets the lead okay that's fine that is fine. I'm like, this could be decent. Let me just think. Let me just think. Is this good for us? So we go follow me. He might have a steel move alongside with it because I believe mine did. So I'm actually just going to go for a focus energy. And I think I might go for a follow me or something along those lines. But I'm going to go for a follow me as well because if he does go for a steel move, I'm totally cool with it. We have a Bavaria Barry. We can eat it off a shot and we go for another follow me. Then we'll be just chilling on the crits. We'll just be chilling with our crits like all the way up. I love shiny Inteleon. He looks so cool with like his uh, wacky little colors with that like purple and the dark blue and then the lighter blue. But he's going to get rolling early with a Dynamax. Dynamax Libero Cinder Ace. And um, maybe a Helping Hand's going to come through? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Helping Hand's going to come through. Actually, I don't know. We might just go for a follow me think I'm going for a water move. That will be fine for me, but he's going to change his typing anyway. I wonder who outspeeds. I wonder who outspeeds, Inteleon or the Cinerys? I think Cinerys is a little bit faster than this. My follow me comes out. I, th I knew he was going for that helping hand. So we get that follow me off, and Cinerys might be faster. Nope, Inteleon takes the speed. Inteleon takes the speed. We got a focus energy. This is going to be lovely. It's going to be lovely. Is this thing going for Seal Spike? It is. But Berry Berry is going to pop out. If we eat this up, this. Oh, I don't even know if we're going to be able to eat this up. I hope so. If we eat this up, we're, we're sitting very, very well. Let's see. I know what typings it could change to, so maybe I have to make a prediction. We do not eat this one up. We do not eat it up with the Baviri Berry, but our crits are all the way up. We are 100% on the crit board. Alright, so this thing can do multiple different things. It can change back to fire. It can go, I think, 
I'm thinking it has that same moveset I have with the Iron Head. What else did I have? It had the ground move, right? It was ground, steel, fighting, and fire. Um, I'm going to lower their attack. I can fake out and then just uh, Dynamax my Inteleon. That's exactly what I'm going to do. That is exactly what I'm going to do. Then I get a crit. I can do some big damage. Right now, he is steel type. You are steel type, sir. Yeah, I can definitely pick out that, uh, the Clefairy. Right now, he is steel type. I mean, what could he change that water can't really do much to? I think water is just a safe play. Even though I could go for a max week. We're gonna go there, and then I'm just gonna fake out right over on this Clefairy. Right on the Clefairy. I might guard this turn, which would be smart. Which would be smart for him to actually guard, but dude, our crits are through the roof. Let's get it. Come on, Intellion. Come on. Yo, dude, this team looks sick. Like I said in the intro, I was just like, dude, I will. I want to show off that hidden ability sniper Intellion, and I want to show off Machamp, and this team had them both. So let's get it. We got Machamp rocking out in the back. I feel like uh, we're playing this one pretty well right now. Tokus already did his part. It let Intellion set up the focus energy. That's the whole gimmick part of this team. Let's see what happens here. Helping Hand really comes out before that. That's whack. That's so whack. Get out of my face, little boy. Big out comes out. And how much damage are we going to do to this Cinderace? Even though it is steel typing now. So it's just going to be normal affecting, but we should get a crit and we should be do stab damage. So we're going to KO. Oh! Ah! Ah! We should just went after a Cinderace. Oh! That could have been real good, but we do get the rain. The rain is lovely. And we do have speed advantage all day on this thing. Airstream is going to come out here. And Liberia is going to change them to flying. So it does have. It is going to take speed advantage. Oh, that's actually tough. That's tough news. I thought we were going to be able to take out with that. That's some big old damage to us. Big, big damage. Um, I think I got a max guard, right? They got speed all day. I definitely got a guard here. Mm -hmm. Let's go for the max guard. Protect you and then go into, I guess, a throw chop and take out the Cinderace. I think he's probably going to go for a follow me, no lie. Which would be a smart play. Man! Leave me alone! Dang, I wish that would have took him out. I wish I would have took him out. Because now he has speed advantage. Or I wish I would have went for the airstream. But still, we were so close. That was big old crit damage. Follow me comes out. Man. Whack sauce. Whack. Let's see what happens here. Max Darkness comes in. Are we blocking? We're not blocking. He makes a read. Hard read on us. Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay. Beautiful. No, he does not make the hard read on us. Third chop comes through. And now we're sitting here. Now we are sitting here. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, he could get, he has Sucker Punch, I believe. I'm just going to go for you, and then I'm going to go for, uh... I'm just going to throw a chop over on you. This should KO. Or no, the Life Orb is going to take him out. The Life Orb is definitely going to take him out. I think I might parting out. Nah. I'm going to make a hard swap, but... I'm just going to do some damage over to Clefairy, even though the water is going to tank it up a little bit. The life orb damage will take out Cinderace after it goes for a Sucker Punch. Hopefully, maybe Inteleon eats it up. Let's see what happens here. Follow me. I'm gonna go for follow me. Cool. I don't really care. I already know what's happening. All right, jump kick. Miss? No, that bureau change. Miss! Miss somehow. Yes! Let's go. It Cinderace kills himself. Beautiful. We get speed advantage here. We're gonna start taking speed. Why would you go for a high jump kick? That is my question. Like, what is that? Yo, dude, critting out the buns. Oh, my lord, we're chilling. Now we got snipe shot going on in the rain. Crit's coming at you. Whoa. And we got speed. And we got speed. But, dude, why would this guy go for a high jump kick? It has such a... It has a bigger chance of missing. Bruh. Yo, let's go. That's hype. That is hype. But Inteleon, yo. Inteleon. Maybe he doesn't think the other moves were going to kill. But, okay, so Arcanine's dead. Arcanine's probably going to protect me no lie. So do I even do I even do that? Timmy comes out. That's totally fine. Does Arcanine protect? I believe so, right? I gotta get that Rotom out the way. I gotta get that Rotom out the way. So I'm just gonna crit it with maybe like an Air Slash or something. But I still go for this. I think Air Slash is our best bet. It's not very effective. Maybe Snipe Shot's the best. But like, Mud Shot won't affect them. But I just see the protect coming out from the Arcanine, right? Gotta be a thing. So I'm gonna snipe shot over there. I'm gonna throw chop and I'm going to double into the short time. Like, he's gotta be protecting and then going for like a T-Wave almost. And of course he doesn't. That hunk of junk. How much damage are we gonna do this thing? How much damage? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. That is wonderful. I think we're gonna take out Rotom here. Nope. Eats that. 
Man, I thought that thing was definitely going for protect. That kid lucked out. He lucked out for sure. Snarl comes out. And then T-Bolt's going to bounce on us as well. I think it does stay alive, which is nice. But if we can't get another turn, that would be lovely, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Throw chop comes out. Can we pick up the KO somehow? Doom! Nope. Ah! Electro web. Oh, that's a double-headed move. Takes out my Intellion. Okay, so it comes down to a 2v2 situation. Man, we could have had this one wrapped up so easily if we just would have snipe shot it onto that uh, Arcanine, but I was looking for the protect. I was really looking for that protect. We can bring out Machamp. We do have uh, our Assault Vest. And I know Incineroar outspeeds the, the Rotom. I think that's another third chop kills it. Stone Edge definitely going to come through. Take out Arky Poo. And I just got to go for another third chop. And hope that it takes out Rotom. They might have speed now. We'll see. We'll see in a second. But Rain is going to help us out for that Arcanine. But I think the Arcanine might just go for a will o -Wisp. Come on, Machamp. Clutch it up for us. Dude, we would have had this one in the bag. We would have had this one in the bag if I would have just sniped shot over on Arcanine. But come on. Come on. You guys can't tell me that you guys didn't think that Arcanine was definitely protecting. I totally thought I was going for that protect. That could have just went like this. Give him the finger guns. Bang. See you later. Right in the rain. Crit. Super effective. Stab. Just all those on top of each other. But yo, I'm loving this gimmick so far. Rotom protects. Oh, uh, that's fine by me. That's totally fine by me. Because my Machamp's going after this, uh... It's Arcanine, and he does get the burn off. He does get the burn off, and the Stone Edge is going to come through. How much damage are we going to do with the Stone Edge? Hmm. Let's protect from him. Stone Edge. Can we, can we get a crit or something? Don't do that much, dude. The burn's helping him out so much, man. So, so much. This one's coming down. Coming down to the wire. Alright, alright, alright. Do I go for a Dynamic Punch get the stab damage in there? But, eh, super effective. Hmm. This confuses the target if it hits. Oh, I gotta confuse this Arcanine. I should have hit him with this. Because I have no guard on, which I, I don't th I think it means we can't miss. Right? Right, let me see. Ability, no guard. The Pokemon employs a no guard tactic to ensure incoming and outgoing attacks always land. Okay, yeah. So he has no guard, so this means it's going to hit, confuse him, and then I'm gonna throw a chop, and I believe I can pick up the KO with it. I know we are minus one. Heat wave comes through. Yeah, leave me alone. We have that soul fest though. We do have a lovely little soul fest. He gets a crit on my Incineroar. Get out of my face. Hydro Bomb comes through. Miss? Does. Yo, let's go, Incineroar. Let's get it, baby. Take him out. Get that KO. Oh. Oh my god. Dynamic Punch comes through. We're going to confuse this Arcanine, which is going to be uh, better for us. We give him the little rubber duckies. A little bit of duckies. And the burns pop off. Dude, this thing's really on one. That might come back to bite me. Do I have anything like first turn? Oh, I, I do have first turn priority moves. Let's go. Bull Punch going to come through. And then we're just going to give a little throat chop over on this Arcanine. Come on, what you want? Rotom Protect. Smart play, Rotom. Smart play, you little cookie. Hopefully this Arcanine maybe hits himself. Come on. I want this win. I want it so bad. Hit him. Yes. Yes. Yo, your boy's coming up big. Your boy is coming up big. Third chop comes out. KO? No. Okay, so I can decide who I want to bullet punch. I'm going to take out the Rotom. Rotom's going. Get Rotom out of here. And another third chop coming in. For that win, we got this one in the bag. GG 1-0 for this battle. Don't dare land that second protect. I only did that once. I only did that once was landing a double protect. But it's so rare. It is so rare to do. Bullet Punch picks up the KO. Sniper Inteleon comes up clutch with those big crits. And Machamp came in clutch as a back-end Pokemon getting that confused. Ooh, you love to see it. You do love to see it. But yo, GG this guy. Throw Chop's gonna come in here. Clean this one up. Hiya! See you later. 1-0 with this team. Now let's hop into battle number two and keep this win streak rolling or at least start a win streak. Second battle coming at you guys. This guy has a Trick Room team. Gengar and Duskclops could actually set up Trick Room. I think I got a Lee Chen Lure and just in prison right off the bat. He has a Gigalith, Grimmy Poo, maybe a G-Max Grimmy Poo. He has a Duraldon who I think is Life Orb or Weakness Policy, but my Machamp can just whap on that. He can just whap on that thing. He has Conqueror in the back end as well. So I think definitely Shen Lure as the lead in case we have to imprison a Trick Room. Um, who else should we bring in the back? I definitely want to bring Machamp and Inteleon. I feel like those two can actually work out well. And we might want to show off the G-Max Machamp with the Max Chi to boost the critical rate and then we'll show off with Inteleon. Or I could go Inteleon, Tokus, and Machamp here. Hmm. Hmm. What do I want to go? Or I could Taunt. I could Taunt with Tesserine. That is an option. 
That is an option. Or should I just lead uh, a champ? And then bring Tokus and Teleon? Hmm. I think Inteleon can pick up some lucky crits here. So I'm going to go uh, Inteleon. But you know what? I'm going to go Incineroar. The champ in Inteleon. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Three seconds left. We get our lock in picks. And I just like having that fake out and that parting shot. I feel like that works so well. And that intimidate for physical attackers. I can parting shot. I can lower special attack or physical. Again, I can fake out. And that will just actually work out very, very well for us. But he's either leading Dusk Ops or Gengar, so but I feel like this team heavenly relies on Trick him, so I think he has to get up. So if I can just imprison it turn one, there it is. There goes Gengar and Grimmy Poo. That's totally fine by me. That's totally fine by me. I'm going to have to fake out the uh, the Grimmy Poo. And then, uh, where do I just parting shot out here? Because he can't take me out. I have focus that, so I can totally imprison Trick him right now. And just parting shot on the Gar. Where do I just start out now? We gotta imprison. We gotta imprison. Let's get it. So we imprison Trick Room. I could go th for Throat Chop, or I think just uh, a normal fake out is just probably our best bet. I'm gonna come strong. Because then I can eventually just go for a Throat Chop, do some big damage over the Gore, pull off from there. No G Max Gengar right now. I think he's going for that Trick Room. He's gonna substitute. Smart play by him. He does Subby Poo. And I imprison the Trick Room. And then I have Shadow Ball, I have uh, Throat Chop, I got all these different things I can go after. So I might actually double up into the Gengar. Let's see his leftovers. Ooh. Ooh! Oh no, Black Sludge. Same thing. Same thing, no big deal. So I'm just gonna go here. And I'm just gonna go for a throat chop. I'm just gonna double up into this Gengar and try to get this thing out the way. He might Dynamax now. No lie. With all this setup, he might set up screens and Dynamax. Which could be scary. But I'm gonna save myself. He's gonna go for a Sludge Bomb. He does outspeed. He's gonna throw a server on you. We eat that up just fine. And we are not poisoned. We're not poisoned anymore. Shadow Ball comes out here. And we'll take off Subsuit. Throw Chop's gonna come in here. How much damage can the Surge Chop do? Hoping it, it can do a decent amount. Hoping it can do a decent amount. Yeah, yeah. And Throw Chop comes in. Hey, hey. KO? Yes, sir. Glass Cannon over here, Gengar. Nice start. Oh, we get a crit. Oh, this team is just full of crits, man. This team is just full of crits. Ooh-wee! <laughs> Foul play comes out, hits our Chandelure, brings us down to half health, but we're fine. No tricking for him. But I'm saving my G-Max, uh, Machamp, and the Sniper Inteleon. I want to pair them up together, get the Max Chi rolling, boosting the crits, all that good stuff. Let's get it, baby. Hey, hey, jeans, 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 jeans. Yo, we rolling out with this team. Flip out, dude. Thanks again for sending this team. I'm loving it. I've been loving every single team that I use for the hidden abilities. I've been loving them. The Real Boom hidden ability team, the Cinderace hidden ability team, and now the Inteleon one. I don't even know which one I like the most. This one might take the cake. Because I like the Cinderace one a lot, but then I like the Real Boom one more. And now I might be liking the Inteleon one more. I'm not too sure. But I think I just parting shot on this Conk over. Go for a Heat Wave and parting shot on the Conks. Uh, do I parting shot? Yeah. It's parting shot out. Eventually I can get another... Uh, I bet you I can get another uh, Intimidate out. And potentially a burn with the Heat Wave. Mm -hmm. We know that what's called is the slow. I think he's sitting in a tough position. We know the Conqueror is the slow, so he's going to go last and probably hit where my uh, Incineroar slot is. But he is sitting in a tough position because that Conqueror can't hit my Shandalor. Let's see what happens here. Heat wave comes out. Can we get a burn on that Cockle Burn? Hopefully he's not guts. Something along those lines. Let's see what happens here. Burn? No. No burn. But we do get the parting shot. We are going to lower his attack. Dude, I love parting shots so much. Uh, now the real question is, who do I go into? I think Machamp. I think Machamp can eat up pretty well. I think we just go into Machamp. If that happens, then I'm just going to Dynamax and start pumping up. Start pumping up, baby. That play comes in. I think it's going to take out Shandle. Yep, Shandle goes down, and we'll get Inteleon out here. Right here, right now. And what's this thing going for? Thunder Punch, maybe? Ice Punch, okay. That's fine. He's minus one. Beat up just fine. Okay, so now we get Inteleon. We have speed all day. We have so much speed. Because he has a slow team. Like I said, I imprisoned that Trick Room early on, and we were chilling just fine. He, I think he was going to try to substitute and wait out the prison and roll from there. But now we got Sniper, Sniper Inteleon. We're going to G-Max the... Uh, but what's it called? Uh, who do I take out? Uh, who is faster though? I think Italian might be faster. So that is a little tough. You might not get the G Max Chi off first. Yeah, this thing's eight. 
Hold on, it's 189. <laughs> Uh, let's roll. Does this thing have no Dynamax candies? Hold up. Does thing have no Dynamax? Okay, no, it does. I was going to say. I thought I saw something. But I'm going to fight. I am going to throw this. I think I Air Slash. Then I Dynamax and I go uh, Max Cheese Strike. I think it's to play. I get that Air Slash off. He might protect with this Conquador, which is totally fine. But we are now showing off Big Fist, Big Boy Machamp. We're looking good. We're looking pretty good. We have, like I said, we have minus one on Conqueror, so I don't really see a Dynamax that has half health. I feel like we can potentially pick up the double KO soon, and it'll be a 2v1 or a 3v1. And if it's physical attacker, I can roll an Intimidate, or if it's special attacker, I can roll in and just throw a, uh, a what's it called on it? I'm just protecting. I'm sure it goes for a T wave. Hard play. Luckily, we're not Dynamax or anything, and hopefully, we can take it out. Hmm. See what happens here. Air Slash can Air Slash pick up the KO. We still might get a crit with Sniper and Scope Lines. There's a high chance for that. Or we'll just KO either way without the crit. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Max Cheese Strike coming in. Yeah, yeah. Take him out. Lovely. Let's get it. And now we are pumped. Look at that. Look at that. Inteleon's getting pumped. So is my boy Machamp. We're going to roll out here. I might be 100% crit now. Right? This focus energy gives me 100% crit. I think this does the same exact thing. Beautiful. Or it might be a little bit less, but still another G Max. Uh, G Max cheese going to take this thing out, even if Dynamax is it. I think it might. And I have Mud Shot, which is 100% crit, super effective damage, and the Chi coming in here, yo. That's GG, yo. This team, this team is so good. This team is so good. Flippo, let's get it, big dog. Let's get it. Oh my lord, dude. Who would have thought G Max Machamp would come in here? Everyone at first was like, ah, nah, I don't really like his ability. But now with the, or not his ability, his G Max move. But now with the Sniper Inteleon on his side, like, bruh, mwah, that is a beautiful team. It is, mm, it's a beautiful team. Mwah, it's a spicy meat to ball, you know what I'm saying? Let's get it. What do you mean? What's this dude doing? What do you mean? You didn't cancel the battle? You got speed. He got speed. Actually, the Doral I'm right be able to outspeed my uh, Machamp, but he's not taking him out one shot. We have that Assault Vest. He goes for a Steel Spike over on Italian, maybe? Nope. We eat that up. That's tasty, baby. That's tasty, baby. <laughs> Yo, running well with this team. One shot. Yeet. Wow, that didn't do as much as I thought it was. And oh, we didn't get the crit. We didn't get the crit. So it, it, it's not like a focus energy. I guess it's like a little focus energy. But we get pumped again. Super effective. Boom. Big damage right there. If I get the crit here, it's game over. We are pumped twice. We are pumped up twice. Bam, 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 bam. I wish it would show you like your crit chance. Like over on Italian right here. Like I wish there was like a crit thing. Like a percentage of what you're critting for. You know what I'm saying? I think that could be cool. A little much shot coming out here. And then another uh, Max Chi Strike. That should be game. That should be game. Wormwind comes through. He's gonna lower attack. He's gonna hit my Italian. Italian and does not eat. Hopefully this uh, cheese strike can take it out. Which I think it might. I think it might. This thing gets a crit. This thing gets a crit out of nowhere. He lowers our attack and his defense is boosted. So I think we need a crit to KO here. Max cheese strike. Yeah, he get him. Do we get the crit? We do not get the crit. Or maybe we did. He just has the defense boost and the other thing. No, we did not get the crit. I do have Bullet Punch and Fake Out. Which could both come in and I think both of them will pick up the KO, right? Right? Even though they're both not very effective. Do we think that does enough damage to it? Or I could just go for two big moves. And then this thing should be dead. Because he can't double hit me. I think I just go for a Flare Blitz into a Dynamic Punch. Right? Both should take it out. Both should take it out. And dynamic punch cannot miss. You know, it's 50% accuracy because of the ability. He goes for a steel spike here. Into Machamp. That's fine. Machamp goes down. I need you here. I need my boy here. This thing's plus two on defense. But still, come on. Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz should be able to do some work here. Thank you, man, Flare Blitz. You love to see it. Thank you very much. We get a crit. Yes. <laughs> okay, with my Inteleon or my, or my Machamp doesn't get a crit. But this thing comes in here and gets a crit. <laughs> Let's get it. 2-0 with this team. Let's hop into our third and final battle and try to get a perfect record for this video.
Final battle with this amazing sniper Italian team. I'm telling you, I'm loving this one. I cannot get enough of all these new hidden abilities. I cannot wait for the DLC as well. Because every time we get something new, it is just awesome. It's just awesome. Especially we just got three new hidden abilities. And it's like it's a whole new game. It's like there's a whole new game. The DLC is going to be phenomenal. This guy is a trick room team right here. I think we just got to imprison it again. Pretty simple. Uh, did we go with the same squad? We could go with Intimidate, but he has competitive. So maybe we bring in Tessarine here. Or however you pronounce it, whatever. I don't even know. But I'm gonna bring her. Do I lead? Yeah, I'm gonna lead her. Let's get it. Cause he might lead the uh, the Milotic. He might lead the Milotic. No lie. But I honestly think he's gonna go for Hatterene. Go for that trick room with the Hatterene. But I'm just gonna imprison up. And we gonna get rolling with. Hey, hey. Say he has. This could be crazy. Wait, wait. Hear me out, guys. Hear me out. So say he has Hatterene and another Imprisonmon who's faster than my Chandelure. Can he imprison my imprison? You know what I'm saying? Can he imprison my imprison so I can't get trickle now? That seems like it's a possibility. But Tesserine and Chandel get popping here. He cannot fake out Chandel, which is tight. Nice, baby. Hey. Hey. And I'm just going to, uh, that's fine. He's going to intimidate you and then intimidate you. It only affects my girl, Tesserina. And I'm just going to imprison and then go for, I could taunt or I could just go for a high jump kick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We going for that high jump kick. I could have just... I uh, know. I don't think... Can you call Hattery? I believe you can. But still. Imprison just works so much better. Protect coming out from you. That's totally fine. I'm imprisoning and no one's going after you. So that is lovely for us. And this thing's not going for a fake out. That's just lovely. That is just lovely. High jump kick. And we got that Y land so it lands better. Nice damage, baby. Nice damage. Another one should be able to pick up the KO. Darkest Slayer comes out here. And uh, we know we outspeed. We know we outspeed. Sash is popping. We looking good. Yes, sir. And I can throw a Shadow Ball and I can uh, double up. Let's get it. Shadow Ball this way and then high jump kick. Wait, I'm confused. Does Imprison only work until I die or does Imprison go until uh, a certain amount of turns? If a Pokemon is affected by Imprison, there's any moves also known by the user of Imprison prevented from... I'm hoping it stays on after this. If not, I can get in, uh, I can bullet punch, probably take that thing out with my champ. A high jump kick, should be able to land with the wide lens, take out this Incineroar, and then we roll out into a Shadow Ball, doing some big old damage over there. He's gonna withdraw that thing, totally fine by me. And save that, uh, Intimidate, and we're gonna be able to just do a nice little high jump kick over on this thing. He's gonna withdraw that as well, okay, so he's gonna wait to get that off. And we're gonna get off a nice little Shadow Ball over on the Milo tick, and hopefully, uh, get that drop on it. And then I can go for a grass move. Tropic kick? Is that what we have? Or no, we have power whip, don't we? I jump kick comes through. And oh! It doesn't affect him. And we take damage from that. Mm, smart play. Smart little cookie. Um. I'm gonna go for a Shadow Ball. Or do I go for the burn? I think Shadow Ball's a little bit better. Let's go for Shadow Ball over on you. Let's go for that power whip. Start teeing off on this. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> you know, withdraw you again. Yo, get out of my face. You guys are crazy. He's going for that attack drop again. <laughs> He's going for He doesn't know what to do right now. He has no idea what to do right now. He's just like, I got to swap, swap, swap. Try to get this trick room off. But let's see what happens here. Protect comes out from the Milotic. That's silly fun. I might swap. I might swap. Uh, what's it called? That's arena. Do I do, I do that? It's not very effective. Power up comes out. It gets blocked. Uh... I think you were going to fake out the Tessarine, so I think I just go for a Shadow Ball over on you. I just protect you. Right? No. Maybe we... No. He's got he's to fake it. He's got to fake out and take out my Chandel here, right? Maybe I should have protected my Tessarine. He's probably going for a, uh, an Icy Wind. Hmm. Okay, we're getting damage off on a lot of these guys here. Just trying to get off this trickle. Like, this is his one thing. And, like, he has no follow me. It's just very, very nice. Like I said, here goes the fake out, and I think it's going to Icy Wind, right? And Lord goes first, though, which is nice. Which is type nice. And we do get a... Maybe get a crit? Do some... Oh, was that a crit? It was a crit, but we do not pick up the KO. I'll take that, though. Force the berry. Okay, that's good. Force the berry out of it. We got this guy, like... Alongside the ropes, your life do okay. Milotic's probably going to protect. No lie. Do we think Milotic protects? I think so. 
Oh, I said we double up into uh, into poop butt over here. <laughs> and a shadow ball. Yeah, I said we double up here. Hopefully, I can land this. Hopefully, I can land this here. Milotic's gotta be protected. Show me you protect Milotic. Give me that reeds. Give me the reeds, baby. Give me them reeds. Even though we are minus two, hopefully, we can do somewhat of damage. Hmm. <laughs> what are you doing, kind sir? Let me just like to again. Milotic does protect. Nice read by Jeans over here. What you want, fool? I don't think we're gonna pick up the KO considering we're so, uh. We're so low. We're on our attack. We're minus two. High jump kick comes through. It does connect with the Y lens. KO? Oh, yes, sir. Let's get it. Let's get it, baby. High jump kick coming up clutch. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so now I can potentially power whip. Um, if he goes into, uh... If he goes into Hatterene, I'm gonna just throw a Shadow Ball over the side. But I think he's gonna go into that, uh... Whatever that Anchor Pokemon's called. This is a long, drawn-out one. But it does go back into Hatterene. That's totally fine with me. I, th I said we Shadow Ball that. I don't think it's Sash. I really do not. But, Shadow Ball. And I'm going to power whip over on you. Where do I taunt that? Hmm. No. We're gonna go over here, power whip. Shadow ball into power whip. Let's see what happens. What you want, fool? I'm thinking shadow ball KOs one shot, right? I'm thinking it does. We're not minus anything on special attack. It is stab. Unless this thing's sashed. It's gonna protect that. That's totally fine. And probably that was probably your smart his or his smartest play here. Unless we don't because I don't think we're gonna take out the Milotic here. Yeah, see, we don't take out the Milotic because we're minus two. And then he picks up the kill on me. Ice Beam comes through on Tessamine? Or no, it's gotta be Channel, right? Alright, Channel goes down. Um. I think I just Dynamax my, uh. My Machamp. And I go for a Steel Spike. I think that's our best play. Go for a Steel Spike over on that thing. We cannot let it set up Trick Room. If it sets up Trick Room, we're done. Well, we're not done, but it's just gonna make everything a lot harder for us. So I seriously think I go for a steel spike, even though it's 90, super effective. And then we might have to double up into this. Hmm. No, I'm just gonna power with this thing. You know, I think this thing might protect. I should have doubled up into the, the Hatterene. I'm gonna withdraw that. That's totally fine by me. We're going for a power whip over on that. Okay, I'm cool with it. I'm totally cool with that. He might have thought maybe we're going for a fighting move. But I'm going to drop this Steel Spike over on this thing. Give us a defense boost and try to take out this Hatterene. Even though it's 90 base power, super effective. I think we can still uh, potentially pick up the KO. Unless it is Sashed. Please don't be Sashed. <laughs> Actually, like, now that I'm thinking about it, it might be Sashed. Considering, like, if you're running this team without, like, a Follow Me. Does he have a Follow Me Mon? Or was he just trying to play it with the Fake Out? Then we're going to eat up a shot. Let's see what happens. Power Whip comes through. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> Doing doo-doo damage. But still, we take those. We take a little bit of damage. Steel Spike comes out. Oh, it's Babiri Berry. He got off Trick Room. Ah! This somebody comes out. Get a crit, something like that. Take out. Uh, I don't even think we we're taking out with that with that Babiri Berry. We do get the defense boost. Um. Hmm. You going for a Trick Room? Or is it still imprisoned? No, it's not imprisoned. Okay, so Trick Room's up. Man, he played this one so sick. No lie. Uh, Max Darkness we could, we could go for. Because this thing's going to be the big damage mod. You know that for a fact. I think I'm just going to protect... Uh, that's Serene. Alright, now we're in a little pickle. Now we're in a little pickle here. He's Dynamax and big old anchor boy. Delmise. I'm thinking that maybe I should have swapped Tessarine a lot. get maybe Inteleon out and boost her stats back up because she what is she minus one on speed is she minus one on speed no she's minus two on attack but she is hmm. <laughs> here comes dynamax from delmise this one's gonna be close guys this one's gonna be real close but i had to go for the max darkness on this thing maybe it's how it could be policy uh, it's gonna have first turn priority um thing is what is he grass and steel is that what it is or ghost? Uh, no, it's ghost and grass. This ghost and grass. And we go for that protect. 
You might not even be worried about me, but I think that uh, Hatterene's gonna come after me, right? Steel Spike comes through. Go on, Tesserine. Nope, those are on you. We do eat up very, very well, but he does get the defense boost. And Talion's gonna have to come out here and maybe throw an Air Slash or something like that to take out that Delmize, because that thing's gonna be defense boosted out the funds. As Gleam comes out, we block. That is going to be super effective to my Machamp, but we do have a Soul Fest, so I think we should eat up uh, fairly well. Yep. We get that Speed Evangel all day. We get the Darkness out here. Yo! With a decent amount of damage, but this thing is bulky. This thing is real bulky, especially with that defense boost. Is this thing policy? Hopefully it's not. We get, we do get the special defense drop, which is pretty big because I have Inteleon. And oh uh, no, leave me alone! <laughs> this thing is policy. Um. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it's a tough one. So he probably thinks we're going to actually guard. I'm not gonna guard. I'm not gonna guard. I'm gonna get air for it. I guess I'm gonna have to power with this thing, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have to power with this thing. This thing was a beery berry. Of course it was. <laughs> See what happens here. He's going for a steel spike. Who are you going after? No. Oh, man. I thought maybe he thought I was going to guard. He makes a simple play. Works out for him. Okay, um. Hmm. Hmm. Do have protect. I'm probably going to have to protect my Italian, but this one's not looking good for us. Third and final battle is not looking good for your boy. Let's see. Dazzling Gleam comes out. This might pick up the KO here. Ooh, it does. Yeah, we got two or three v one now. Man, that guy played this battle so well. I gotta give mad props to this guy. I thought we had this one wrapped up early on because uh, we started tricking him, but dude, he played this one like that was a phenomenal play by this guy. He kept swapping in out, playing it perfectly, trying to get that trick room up, keeping that hat arena alive, all that good stuff. But I only have protect, so snipe shot. We want to snipe shot you. Even though he's going to one tap me. GG to this guy. We go 2 and 1 with this team. But I'm glad uh, we got to show off this team. We showed off in the first battle. Had a focus energy up with Tokus. Run it with that Teleon. And then in the second battle, we got to show off that G Max uh, Machamp. And uh, oh, wait, I saw it at G Max, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. I used it with my Machamp. But in that second battle, like I was saying, we got to show off uh, the G Max Chi getting pumped. And with that Teleon on the side. But 2 and 1. GG to this guy. After using the final hidden ability for this Inteleon, I don't know which starter I like the most with their new abilities. They are all so good. You got the Libero Cinderace, you got the Grassy Surge, Rillaboom, and you got the Sniper Inteleon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. If you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. One last shout out to my boy Flippo for sending this team. I absolutely love that. I'm definitely going to be using it a lot more on the rank ladder. So thank you once again. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.